everybody. Happy summer. So I know you probably had a fantastic year in math last year, and you probably plan to have a fantastic year in math next year. But in the meantime, I'm pretty sure that you do not want to forget all the great stuff that you learned last year, and you probably want to work a little bit in advance so you can be on top of your game for next year. So here's my advice to you. Khan Academy. It's great. It has a lot of material. It's great with the videos um, and the practice work. So here's how you would go ahead and work, use Khan Academy. First of all, you would log in to KhanAcademy.org, which is K-H-A-N Academy.org. Then once you're there, you would click Start Learning Now. Now I've already signed in once, so it kind of already remembers me, but for you, you would go into sign in with Gmail, as I have done already, and you would have to type in your email address, your password, you'd have to allow it, the, the give it the permission to, to log you in. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Once you're there, you might see a page that goes directly to subject areas, but uh, you want to click on Academy, Khan Academy to get to the homepage, which is where I am right now. The reason for that, before you start anything, is you want to pick out your coaches. So this is Nicole Hamilton speaking right now, as you probably know. Uh, you might want to put me down as a coach so that I can know that you have been doing work this summer. Uh, so in order to do that, you would go to uh, this box here where it says add a coach and write my email address. And my email address is nhamilton at dwight.edu and the only purpose for this and you say join the class the only purpose for this is so that I can see that you are and have done work but this is not mandatory so you don't have to do that I do suggest however that you so for your parents to keep track of what you're doing that you put their email address in as well add your parents so they that they can go into Khan Academy and see what you've been working on and how you've been doing all right once you've added your coach then you want to pick out your subject area so this is really up to you what do you think is best for you so here's my advice if you were in fifth grade last year and you want to look back at that content, then go to the fifth grade mission and work on that. However, if you want to move forward as a fifth grader, then you'd go to sixth grade material and work on that. Same for sixth graders. If you were in sixth grade last year, then work on the sixth grade if you want to review or go on to seventh grade if you want to look ahead. Here's a tricky one though. If you were in seventh grade last year, go to seventh grade if you want to review, but go to not eighth grade, but algebra if you want to look ahead. And for those of you who were in algebra one last year, go to algebra one if you want to review. So once you click in here, you'll have the option of algebra one or algebra two. Go to algebra one if you want to review or geometry if you want to look ahead. So let's say you were an eighth grader and you're looking ahead to geometry. I'll give this one to you as an example. You don't want basic geometry and you don't want trigonometry. What you want is geometry. So then you go into geometry and here's a very important part. You don't want to explore, you want to go straight to a mission. So once you're in a mission, so let it load for a second. Once you're in a mission, let's get started. It starts with a warm up. And now it gives you a simple equation to solve uh, because it knows that you just took algebra one and this should be easy for you. But let's say, oh my gosh, you've already forgotten how to solve an equation. You can ask for a hint. So then it says, okay, let's subtract and divide to get A by itself. But that's probably not enough. Let's say you need another hint. Then it shows you actually how to do it. It works you all the way close to the end and you have to then finish. Let's say you're still stuck. Uh, you can ask for another two hints, or you can watch a video, which I think the videos are super awesome. So let's click on the video and see what happens. All right, so this is going to be a little weird because it's a video inside of a video. So we click play, and this let's one, try. Ooh, that one is a long one, eight minutes. Usually they are a lot shorter than 10 minutes. Most of them are shorter than five, but this is a super important topic, so that one's a long one. All right, once you're done with the video, you should be super comfortable to answer this question. So then you would go ahead and you would answer the question. So let's say the answer is, let me see, 12 and then divide. Okay, let's say it's three. Could be right, could be wrong, check your answer. There's a smiley face, it is right. Then we go on to the next question by clicking the same button. 
and then so it goes. So you would continue, you could do this every day for a couple minutes, then you wouldn't even realize that you can finish the whole course review in, a, well, I'm exaggerating. Anyway, but the point is, you may want to work on this if you want to review or look ahead. This is not a mandatory assignment, it is optional, but it is highly recommended. You will enter next year with a very, very, very solid start. Have a great summer and enjoy the math.